sure what we're seeking is closed. Welcome back to Red Attack, everybody. Wait. To what? We have 494 flowers. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Don't leave yet. Let's go buy something. I need stuff. Where's Joe? Why does Morgan? Who changed Morgan out of his outfit? I don't know. It was you. I bet it no, was it you. No, it wasn't. It was you. You Shut were up. with the outfits at the Shut end last up. time. Shut up. So anyways, yeah, this isn't going to be Memento's episode, guys. Josie, let me leave. Stamp. Heck yeah. This is epic persona gameplay. <laughs> guys, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Don't say that anymore. It's Please. rotting my brain. So uh, where are we right now? This is the sixth area on this floor, but counting the entire palace, it's the 33rd one. 33 areas? I'm starting to feel kind of overwhelmed. Just how big is this place? Who knows? This whole place, its overall structure, it's all a mystery. Oh well. Just, uh, hang in there. <gasps> Josie! Josiah. Just the man I wanted to see. No, that's a woman. I guarantee you that's a woman. my gender there, little boy. <laughs> it's a woman voice actor for the kid. Is it? I mean, probably. That usually it's women who voice little boys. Actually, they're... a lot of women voice male characters, like Luffy in One Piece. Oh, That's voiced by a girl. Doing good? Disgusting. Disgusting. Only men can do the voice. <laughs> we can get some good SP items. 40% SP to all allies. That's really good. But okay. It's only safe places. So I say we get one of these, and then maybe a couple of this one. Um, I don't really care. Then that's what we're gonna do. If you could have like a spirit weapon, so like a weapon, weapon, you could just pull out of nowhere whenever you want. Uh huh. What would you pick? And it has to be like it can't be like a gun or a nuke or something. Uh. It's gotta be a short range thing. Probably like an atomic bomb. Just and I don't. I'm, <laughs> I'm stopping the recording. <laughs> we're done. Goodbye, guys. Well, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> um, probably like a staff. Well, maybe I'd want something ranged. You could pick anything. You could pick a crowbar if you want to, just to open doors. Or even a grappling hook or something. Not a grappling gun, just a grappling hook. Like the type you throw and climb up. Uh-huh. I love this song. This is so nostalgic. Yeah, same. The amount of times I heard this fight in Annoying Enemies in Persona 4. <gasps> Go! Get him a curter. Got him. Dang. That was stylish. Also, he's dead. What does this say? Unknown? Is this a bunch of graves? It's like treasure graves. Or not treasure graves. Jail graves. That's creepy. What would you pick for a spirit weapon? I'd want like a, maybe like a tranquilizer gun. Yeah, I said you can't have a gun. What? You said I couldn't. Yeah, it's got to be like a melee weapon. Because I feel like a gun would be too overpowered then. Oh. Well, then maybe... Uh... Well, what's the limit to how weird I can get here? Does it I'd have to say, be something traditional? I would say, okay, the reason I say no to guns is because I feel like if it's like spiritual or whatever, then it's unlimited ammo, right? Uh huh. And that I think would be OP. But I think like a bow and arrow, since there's like a lot of effort required in that, that could fly. Okay. So think of it with those being the terms. Could I pick like a fire sword or something weird like that or? I was thinking if like you just pick sword in that case. Okay. So you can't do anything like magical or cool? No, the only magical thing about it is that you can just kind of like summon it, you know? Uh-huh. More Josie. Maybe like, probably like a bow staff or something. Okay. I think bow staffs are the ones where they can spin them super duper fast and like whip the tip at you really like hard and like you're basically dead if that thing hits you. Gotcha. But it's also not like a bladed weapon, so you don't have to really kill anybody if you use it right. Maybe. What would you like use it for? <laughs> what would you use any melee weapon for? Well, you could pick like a crowbar. It'd be a good lever. Like if you need to lift up something heavy. I mean, you can pick something that's more practical technically. Like if you wanted to pick a wrench, you could pick a wrench. Or a screwdriver or something. I don't really need handheld objects very often, though. You know? You pick a game controller. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I thought you said it had to be like a melee weapon or a bow. Anything's a melee weapon. <laughs> a game controller? That is the nerdiest <laughs> pick. 
I didn't say so I'm So we don't have to it. get up and pick it up. I can just summon my controller right to me. Duh. That's, that's dumb. <laughs> no, but a staff's pretty practical. Like, what if I need to reach something that's up high? <laughs> I mean, yeah, if that's... No, then you gotta make it one of those little grabber arms, you know? It's like a big, long arm there with you go. two hooks, and you can push the button to close them. That's just my logic is... If if it's meant to be like a weapon, I'm gonna pick a weapon. You know, I guess I could pick a knife or something to make cutting vegetables easier. Mm -hmm. Or I could just buy a knife. <laughs> but if it's like, I think that'd be a really cool weapon to get good at using. You know, if you can learn a lot of those cool spinning tricks. Though, I don't think you'd actually use those really in a fight. Okay, okay. But it, it's just always looked like the coolest weapon to me. So let's say you do get to use this like as a weapon. Mm -hmm. Like, would you actually try and train and get good with it and find a point where you can use it regularly? Like, how would I use it regularly? Well, I don't know. Maybe you could become, like, a mercenary or something. With a bow? Like, with a bow staff? I mean, yeah, there's like... I know there's literally, like, repo guys who will hunt people down and arrest them. You could do something like that. If you have a bow staff, you can summon them. Make that job easy. Not if they have a gun. Well... Yeah, but you never- they never really get attacked by, like, guns, I don't think. Okay. Maybe I'd pick a shield. A shield would be a unique one. Cause, I mean, then you can just kind of protect yourself very easy. But it's also a good whacker. Yeah, like, if you need to bash someone in the head real quick. Hmm, now it's got me thinking about mine. And it's like, you can- depending what kind of shield you pick, there's alternate purposes. Like, I like to imagine, a. Uh, Breath of the Wild shield surfing. That could be fun. Okay. So That'd maybe, be hard to get good at, though. It would, but I mean, hey, you can summon it, so it's not like it's very hard. Yeah, maybe like a Captain America type shield. Feels different down there. What is it? Oh, God. Two similar voices <laughs> back to back. I'm sure what we're seeking is close. We're almost there. Yeah. Are we just getting to the next door? I mean, we might as well since we're here, I guess. I'm enjoying the conversation, <laughs> and it's hard to have conversations like this when we're doing normal stuff, you know? Yeah, these are podcast episodes, basically. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, what would you pick? I, I guess I guess if I have to pick a final answer, probably a shield. Just It's a good, good for defending yourself, you know? And you could use that for a lot of different things. Yeah, like, I'm sure, I mean, you could fry dishes in that sucker. <laughs> if you, you, you know, get a campfire going, throw some veggies in it. Um, okay. I can see that. And plus, it's just cool. Like, a person who wields a shield is just, is just cool. Whoa, there it is. Kiritani Shadow. I get chills just by looking at him. This is the hitman, isn't it? He's an ex-mercenary who's now a professional assassin. He's no ordinary person. Yeah. If even the police can't handle him, then it's up to us to take care of him. Ooh, I just thought of another good one. What? A lasso. Lasso could be good. That'd be hard to learn, though. Yeah, but, I mean, like I said, if you can summon it, what's the... I mean, you're gonna learn how to master no matter what you pick. True. Let's approach him with caution. You're here? I bet that idiot from earlier put in a request to you. Sorry, but I don't plan on going away. You kids playing heroes should go home to your mommies. Can't just let someone dangerous like you go around killing people. You guys are more dangerous from my point of view. Look, as a mercenary, I've seen a lot of torture, and torture is all about killing the heart and soul. You've been destroying the parts you don't even like in people's character. To me, that's evil. What? Anna has a point. Yeah, I can see that. But I, I would agree with him if the distortions weren't like literal demons. Yeah. <laughs> evil and don't be ridiculous we're doing our best to do what's right it's my policy to only kill on the job but i'll destroy you if you're gonna get in my way don't be strong don't be strong what it uh yeah i'm not worried about him yeah probably not he's coming gross yo <laughs> Put get your a pants on. Get a room. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll finish you off, and after that, I'm gonna kill off daytime me too. Huh? What does that even mean? Can you do that? Severe damage. Okay, you gotta learn his weaknesses. But yeah, so is shield your final pick? And let's say like. Yeah, you, I guess. You can never lose it, you know, because you can just summon it. Right. So you could like, I don't know, you could throw it at people, I guess. 
Yeah, that's why I was kind of imagining a Captain America shield. You have like versatility because mm -hmm. you could throw it, summon it back, you know. Why don't you do a spiky shield then? Because then you can't surf on it. Yeah, you can. Surf but, on the plus inside. Plus, what do I need spikes for? I don't want to kill anybody. That's fair. Uh, severe! Maybe... I should just do my charge. Honestly, I don't think it's going to matter. Die! Yeah. Bufodyne! Oh, that one looks cool. Yeah. Take this. And you're done. Mercenary, more like suck my nuts. Got him. Dumbage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love all the like finishers. Ooh. Wait, listen to what I've got to say. The people I kill are all criminals. They escaped the law, and the police can't touch them. I'm just like you phantom thieves. I'm working to get rid of the evil in this world, so let me go. I won't let you go. I, I won't do that. That's, that's not what I do. Sorry, but we're not the same. The Phantom Thieves would never murder people. No! Help me! I don't want to disappear! Don't be ridiculous! How can you say that after you murdered so many people? Don't worry, you're gonna turn into a really cool item! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you better accept that you lost already. Prepare yourself. Fine. Do what you want. Remember though, evil that ought to be erased will just keep popping up after I'm gone. We'll destroy evil in a way that's different from yours. You can disappear without worry. Let's kick your butt next time, too. Haha. Uh -huh. There you go. Woo! We gotta use those cards more, probably. I know, we probably have so many now. Ooh, it's open! We can now expand the range of our exploration. Let's get going. Oh yeah, looks like you made it to some kind of new area. Wow, this place is a lot bigger than what I'd heard. I expect the shadows here will be strong too. Be careful. But uh, I think it'd be kind of cool if Mementos was like sort of more like a roguelike or something. Like if you could collect power-ups on your way down and stuff. Oh, I got gotcha. you. And the enemies would have like cool modifiers on them that they don't usually have. Something like that I think would make it more interesting. Oh, so look, a fight. A fight. Um. But yeah, what would you pick? At first, I was gonna say one of those daggers that are super illegal because you can't sew up the injuries they make. The ones that twirl? Yeah. But what now you... I'm just trying to think other stuff. What do you need that for? <laughs> I don't know. If I'm gonna have something, I might as well have the best. I kind of think a halberd would be cool. So it's like spike, hammer, and sword, you know? Hmm. You'd have to kind of be buffed to like wield that though that's true maybe i'd want something i could be quicker with i don't know maybe i'd go for a dagger i could throw you know Ooh, throwing daggers are cool and then you just repeatedly summon it back yeah it's yeah. a cool party trick and it's also wouldn't it like a weapon you can just erase be the perfect murder one i mean yeah I'm not saying i want to do it i'm just saying <laughs> just just in case you know. I mean, you gotta think about all the possibilities here. But yeah, maybe I just pick something I could throw. That'd be a good one. Though I do kind of like the idea of a big long battle axe like Haru's. But the only problem with that is it does require a lot of strength to do that. Yeah, and it'd like really wear down your uh, arms after a while. You'd get tired. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, if you were gonna let me do like really cool stuff, I was gonna pick like a plasma sword. Like Akeshi's? Yeah, like something that can just kind of melt through anything. If we could pick... Okay, okay, I'll say anything's on the table then. Excellent. That's probably what I'd do if uh, anything was on the table. Is some kind of like... Really like ultra super duper hot laser sword that can just slice through like concrete, you know? I'd probably... Well, are, are ranged weapons included in this one then? Sure, we can do ranged weapons. Okay. Well, then I need to think. We can even do a nuke if you'd want to. <laughs> I don't want a nuke. I, that'd kill me. I would probably pick. Man, I don't know. That's tough. Because another thing with like a plasma sword. Now, if we're getting like really, really out there, maybe if like when you do like a slash or whatever, it sends out like a beam attack. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, okay. How many floors down does this place go? Even I don't know that. The only thing I can say is the sheer scale of this place is astronomical. Oh well, yeah, but come on, we all know that already. 
Oh, Mona, you're always trying to act cool in front of Noir. Th that's not true. I just wanted to make sure she knew. <laughs> A kitty. <laughs> Maybe I do power armor. Uh, okay. Is that, that too OP? What? I was still thinking like a weapon and not a, you know. It is a weapon. It's a apparel. <laughs> yeah, but it functions as a weapon. Okay. I guess. <laughs> you know what I would do? Okay. I've been rereading some of Tokyo Ghoul, right? Or re-, re I've been reading it normally because I watched the anime when it came out, some of it. But yes. You know how they have those like briefcase weapons? Uh huh. I take one of those. That could be cool. So like, I think one of them is like really long and spindly and has super like good reach, you know. Only problem with that, you would look very unnatural holding a briefcase. <laughs> I mean, I would kind of exclude the briefcase part because you can just summon it. So you just like summon it and you'd like hold it. Then is there any point in the weapon being inside a briefcase? <laughs> No, I'm just, it's just... It's just cool. <laughs> no, I don't want it in a briefcase. Just the weapons that are in the briefcase. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you know how they carry weapons in briefcases? <laughs> I'd want the weapon. Okay, but w w which one? Um, I like the one the one girl with white hair has. It's, uh, like, super long and snake-like, and it can kind of switch between being loose like a whip or, like, really sharp and long. Mm -hmm. So probably just that. Because you could use that to like wrap around. You could kind of Spider-Man your way through, maybe. It's got lethality, which I'd really like to have, and practicality. What do you need lethality for? I'd rather have it than not have it. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Who do you want to kill so bad, Ethan? I don't want to kill anybody. Who hurts you? <laughs> but yeah, I'd probably pick that. And then I'd just use it every day if I could. On what? I don't know, to get around, I guess. Is that not obvious? Maybe I'd be a super villain. With a, you think you're gonna last very long as a super villain when all you have is a little snake sword? <laughs> I'm here for a good time, not a long time, Gage. <laughs> I thought you had no desire to be a criminal. I have no desire to not be a criminal. You're not making any sense whatsoever. I'm neutral on the topic. If I want to do a crime, I'll do a crime. If I don't, I won't. If you had to change your hair color to a different color, what would it be? Because mm. Gage is blonde. Put a picture of Gage on screen. Probably either a neutral color, like white or black. Or... Maybe, like, sort of a... A deep red. You, you've always like, talked about... Like a about darker... Like not like red red, but like a darker, maybe kind of maroonish red. Madooki. Madooki red. Um... I don't know. I don't... I would much think you'd pull off like black or white hair better than... I mean, anyone can pull off black or white hair better. It's a neutral color. <laughs> True. What did you pick? Just white hair, probably. I always thought it looked cool. And not like old man gray white hair, just normal white hair. I've kind of thought it'd be fun to dye my hair, but then like you have to do it again or it looks weird, you know? Right, because then the roots start... Just growing? Mm-hmm. And that would look weird, especially with blonde hair. Yeah. If you had like naturally black hair and the like black and white kind of like faded together, that'd be kind of cool. If you had black, if you have like a solid black hair, I think you can dye it way better than like blonde or brown or red or anything. Does it actually dye better? I just think it looks better. Oh. Yeah, like, that's fair. I haven't really seen people with blonde hair dye it to another color and be like, that's good. But yeah, I'd probably pick white hair. Yeah. Honestly, that's probably what I'd pick too. I think white hair would just look good. I've kind of, I got a haircut a little while ago and I regret getting it because now I really want to grow my hair out. Like how long? Just as long as I want, which I don't know yet. Like are we talking like below the shoulders length or? I'd have to see it. See, cause my hair very much sticks to my head. I'd like it for it to be a bit more poofy, but then you have to like work at it. And I really hate working at my hair. Poor Ethan Schmeethan Ethan. I know, it kind of sucks having to work at anything. What? <laughs> I thought you enjoyed the the process. Some processes. Not self-care processes, though. Oh, that's healthy. It's, it's just annoying, you know? Yeah. Eating takes up too much time, especially cooking. You scare me sometimes. <laughs> I, I really wish I didn't have to sleep. If I could get by with, like, some people, like, only sleep, like, four or five hours, like, weird super geniuses, you know? 
-hmm. and they're completely fine. I can do that for one day, but as soon as like the next day starts to end, I start to just shut down. I don't know if that's super geniuses or insomniacs. Yeah, true. I mean, they're probably used to it, you know? That's true. I think some people's bodies are just better at it, you know? Well, you know what we're better at? Hmm. Ending the episode! We'll continue these talks in the next episode, till we reach the end of Mementos. Yeah, Mementos. Meme toes. I love toes. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love toes. <laughs> Please. If you get the reference, leave a like on the video. Please, guys, put your shoe sizes in the comments. Don't do that. I, I don't. I don't want to know your guys' feet. I need them. <laughs> anyway, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.